today I'm going to teach you how you can create nice slider in VB.net. Please like and subscribe my channel. Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to create a sale point. Let's create project. So our project name is shopkeeper. And I'm gonna use Ritual Basic VB.net, okay? And choose here Window Form .net Framework. Then click on OK. So this is our form. So first of all, I'm going to make a one folder here go to project right click on it add and then new folder this folder name is images okay and now I'm going to desktop to copy all the pictures here I have uh, picture which I need for and now right click on this project images folder and then paste on it okay you can see all the picture right now here now I need four picture boxes search in the toolbox picture box okay and I'm gonna change the property here normal to stretch okay and now I need four pictures so let's copy and paste the second this is third and this is fourth okay so now you can see I no need to again and again stretch okay it's ready so next let's go one by one and choose images right click on arrow and choose image import and first is our shopkeeper you can use any image if you want and number two is Now let's uh, put picture properly. I like. Let me show you. Send them to back. And this is our last picture. So now let's duck one by one. Click on arrow and duck. Next picture, click on it and duck. And now friends, I need one timer search in the toolbox timer click on it okay and select timer go to property and increase here 100 to 
2000 that is our slide speed you can control from here okay you can slow or fast it's depend on you you can control your speed now i'm gonna click on timer and here i'm gonna say picture use if statement if picture box one dot visible equal true and then picture one dot visible equal false and after this let's copy this one and this one change into true and false to true okay and else if picture 2 is true then picture 2 gonna false and picture 3 gonna true after this else if picture 3 visible true then picture 3 gonna false okay. and after this picture 4 gonna true and the last one is it's f picture 4 is true then picture 4 gonna false and picture 1 gonna true So this is our coding which we could inside the timer okay now click on this form double click on this form under the form load I'm gonna say timer one dot start okay so now let's play and check how it's look like you can see this is our slider right now is working properly okay but it's not in the center and it not looks good so what we do here click on form go to property and change this format into none and start position is gonna center okay so now if I play you can see this is in the center okay and it looks better better